All right, friends, let's get going on this fuel pump. One of the first things we need to do when we're doing the fuel pump is to relieve fuel pressure in the system. To do that, it's fairly simple. You can come right over to your fuse box. Just kind of pull up on this. You scan your little chart, you find the one for the fuel pump. Looks like for this, it's a 15 amp. So I would just look at this with my little treasure map here, find my top 15 amp fuse and remove that fuse. There it is. Now with that removed, we're gonna go try to start the vehicle and uh, that'll relieve the pressure from the fuel system. Here we go. Okay, installed right out. Perfect. Let's reinstall our 15 amp fuse. Make sure you cover your unit back up. Next, we're gonna remove our negative battery terminal. This needs some cleaning anyway. So we made our way into the back seat of the vehicle. What you're gonna notice down along the uh, bottom portion of the seat is these little tabs. What you do is you pull on those, like that, and then you can lift up, okay? There's one on the passenger side, and of course there's one on the driver's side. You lift those up, grab the seat, and pull it right out of the way. Now that the seat's out of the way, we're gonna continue on using our Phillips head screwdriver. These right here, you would think you turn them to the left to relieve them, but you don't. You turn them clockwise. So put it in here, give it a little twist to the right. You only wanna line up the tabs with the holes, of course. You don't need to go any further than that. Let's see if we can grab onto it. Get this up and out of the way. Got a little push tab here. You push that with your thumb, then you can draw this right off and we'll move it out of the way. You wanna make sure you have an absorbent pad or some sort of um, something absorbent just in case any fuel comes out of this. We don't obviously want it getting in the vehicle. We'll just have this ready. To remove this, you just squeeze those little blue tabs and then you draw it away. There we are, minimal fuel, that's always nice. On this one, there's a little tab on the side here and one right there. You're just gonna squeeze those as well. Draw that away. Next, we're gonna move along to the lock ring. To remove the lock ring, you wanna use something as basic as a brass punch. You don't wanna use metal, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it right up against this, and then we're gonna bonk it with our hammer. But something that you need to pay special attention to is the fact that if you do happen to make a spark, this is fuel, and it's gonna go poof. So let's avoid that by using a brass punch. Okay, start my turn. I'm gonna come over to this one. We're almost there, just keep on rolling with it. Looking good. Push this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna grab a collection bucket, something that when I pull this out, obviously it's gonna have fuel in it. I wanna put it over a bucket, so while I draw it out of here, hopefully it won't get inside of our interior. All right, so I laid down some more absorbent pads here. Safety precaution. Remove our safety ring there, lock and ring. I'm gonna pull this straight up and out. Obviously that line stays down with the car. Okay, we still get a lot of gas in this, so we're gonna tip it slowly because down here is where the level sensor is. We need to get that out of the vehicle. Up and into the bucket. All right. So let's just take a look at what we've got. We have our original fuel pump here. You can see where the, um, the wiring goes and then the two hoses. We've got wiring, two hoses, same exact angles. Everything's the same, looks good. Level sensor, brand new level sensor. This has everything we need. Let's get ready for an install. It's important to make sure that if your original fuel pump came off and it still has this on it, this needs to go back inside that fuel line. It's very simple to take off. You use a small pocket screwdriver, get right underneath this lip right here that's where one of the little hooky-doos is. Put it up over that. Do the same for the other one while applying pressure, and it slides right off. Let's go install this onto the new fuel pump. Being very careful not to drop our clip into the fuel tank, I'm just gonna take this, slide it right on in there. I went and grabbed a rag. We're gonna take out this seal right here. Our kit came with a brand new one, so that's very awesome. You wanna look right along the fuel tank right where that seal rides and just make sure there isn't any dirt, debris, or gunk. Anything that's gonna break that seal is gonna be a potential issue. Let's clean it up the best we can. Obviously, I'm gonna try not to fling it into the fuel tank. Use my rag, go right along that edge. Okay, just 
take another look all the way around it. Make sure there isn't anything crazy going on. No real raised areas. Take your new seal, put it right up along that lip. And that's going to be ready for when this fuel pump goes in. Now it's time to install our brand new TRQ fuel pump. Slide it in just like this. Okay, let's get our line out of the way. Make sure the gasket's still sitting in its groove. You're going to see you have this line up point right here and this one right there. That's very important to make sure those are lined up where they need to go. Should be able to press this down a little bit. That looks good. We're going to grab our lock ring here. Get it around everything. Okay. Let's back down. Double check that gasket. Yep, moved. Press down on that. Checking for those tabs. Those are lined up. Double check the gasket one more time. It can't hurt to just keep making sure it's good. And it is. Press down and then get these locking tabs so they're ready to go. Make sure the lines are out of the way. Definitely not going to get crimped. We're going to use our brass punch and we're going to go in the opposite direction. We need these little hooky doos to come all the way over to this point right here. Looks like it's starting to happen. Let's keep it up. That's all the way. Completely around. Everything looks good. Remove your little booties here. Grab your lines. We're going to listen for a click noise. Here we go. I heard it. Give it a tug. It's definitely not coming off. Same thing for this. Listen for that click. Click. Give it a tug. Looks great. Let's get our wiring reconnected in here. There it is. I heard the click. Give it a little tug. Perfect. Grab your plate. Put it right over all your little tabs. Now don't forget, we need to turn this the opposite direction than we thought. So we're going to turn it counterclockwise so it's opposing the holes there. We're just going to clean this up real quick. If you got any fuel on your hands, just make sure you clean them off before you go ahead and reconnect this battery in case there's a little arc. Obviously you'd want to clean up the other side at the same time, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to continue on with the fuel pump service. Reconnect the battery. Make sure it's super tight. You need to make a good connection. So now we're going to try to start the vehicle. What you're going to notice is it's going to take a long crank because it has to push the fuel through the fuel lines and then we'll start the engine. Here we go. Okay. It's running. I'm going to double check the dash, make sure there's no check engine light. It doesn't feel as though there's a misfire. I'd say we're good to go. It's time to get the seat reinstalled. It's important to remember that you need to have your seat belts up and to where the passengers can get to them. Obviously, safety first is the number one concern. Up there. Okay. Just gonna wiggle it, slide it in as far back as it can go. Once it's back, we're gonna give it a little shove, and you're just gonna try to line these little pins up with their little hooky doos. That one's in. This one. There it is. We've got our seat belts. This looks great. Take her for a road test.